Hey YouTube, Devlin from Team Burning Infinity here, coming at you with a deck update slash locals report on my top four ninja deck profile. Um, yeah, the deck changed up a lot. It's really, really changed to its weapon-based form. Thanks to Joey for helping me out. And um, yeah, I managed to come in top four with this deck for the first time. I used it in tournament, and that's very, very good for the first time. So I'm very proud of this. I'm proud of this deck. Um, so really, really good. So let's get into deck. Um, the world I'm playing is Katana World, and my new buddy is Sky Ninja Yamigurasu. Um, Yamigurasu is a 4 1 1. Uh, when a monster rests in front of him, uh, I deal one damage to my opponent, and he has moved. So, very, very. So, he's a lot better than uh, uh, Hayate. He, Hayate only gets over with an extra crit, that's all. So, yeah, that's the buddy. Uh, let's make this a little quick. So, start with the size ones. I'm playing 4 Sheetans. Uh, 3 one, 1 and he's basically the draw power of the deck, so really, really good. I'm playing 4 copies of Sky Ninja Yamagarasu, because he's the buddy, and you got to play 4 copies of him. Very, very good. Multiple of these on board makes a very, very good uh, pressure columns, because your opponent might not want to take more damage. Especially if they're at 1 life. This card is pressure. So, next up, I'm playing uh, 4 copies of... Tsuki Kage Blade Master Mode. Uh, he's a little better in this uh, based variant, this weapon based variant, than uh, regular because you, you're you mostly going to be playing monsters to the side, anyways. So, yeah, he and he could become a potential pressure column if I have another one of him in a drop or in Tsuki Kage, it doesn't matter. So, he could become a potential 5 3 1 on the side. So, really, really good. I mostly use him because he's, he could be a pressure column and he's a beater with 5,000 power. Two copies of Electro Ninja Electric Tarot. Um, basically, I dropped them down to two because uh, I don't pay as much gaze as I used to. But it's still nice to have them to control it, to have a, a gauge control as well. So really good. Uh, and that's all for size one. Size two is I'm playing three copies of Purgatory Ninjas on Kill. Very perfect card for the weapon variant. 434 four, cannot be called to the center and nullify and all my spells cannot be nullified if it's in the jar spell that is. So really good. Um three copies of Mobile Ninja Jiraiya. Um basically uh I took out Kashi uh Joey could have took out Kashi Koji because he was a better choice and I agree with it. And I agree because I tested the deck and he was a better choice. He's a balanced card, five two five. Um call him to the center. And you can place him to the right, so he's a very, very balanced card. So, really, really good. 5 to 5. So, he actually puts in work. Then, I play two copies of Agent Ninja Linzo. So, toolbox first, lethal formation, and 6,000 defense. So, able to keep a defensive formation until I get like my weapon or anything. So, really not, not bad. Next, I'm playing two copies of Noble Ninja Mobuchi Tamba. Uh, 726, pay to gauge, double attacker, and when he enters the field, I gain a life, so, very, very, probably my favorite size 3 in Katana World, very, very good card, in my opinion. And next up is spells, start with the tech card spells, shoot across the nice right hand, and spin a wheel on nice back hand. <clears throat> when my monster on the right is attacked, I can pay one gauge, nullify the attack, and destroy all my opponent's monsters, same thing, but for the left side. Very, very in this variant because mostly with this deck, you're playing monsters on the left and right more, and these cards will help protect those monsters if my opponent think they're um, pressure columns and would try to get rid of them through attacks. So, really good tech cards, in my opinion. Two Art of Item Blasting just to get rid of those items because everywhere except Ancient World plays items these days. So, really good to get rid of those items. Two clear serenity, like I said earlier, I pay less gauge in this deck. You don't really need that much gauge unless your lethal formation's out. That's when this comes in handy, so really good. Four copies of Demon Wake Up Gary. Probably my favorite Demon Wake spell of Katana World. Of all in Katana World. Probably the best of all in Katana World. I mean, fuck or over Gambu. This is a lot better because this is able to knock out your opponent's monster when they knock you out, so... You can knock me out, okay. Over, um, Gabby Gary knock you out, so very, very good card. I like it better than Over Gamble. Forget Over Gamble. 
four copies of Ninja Arts Negase. So I pay one life to rest this card, to rest a monster on my opponent's field. And basically, if it's a double attack or triple attack, that's good. And if it's in front of Yamagarasu, it's a one for one. So they, me and my opponent is going to be taking one damage. And yeah, and it's good to get uh, use this because it's really, really good to stop a lot of plays and a lot of attacks and a lot of link attacks that you're both going to do. So yeah. Speaking of link attacks, link, this cannot stop link attacks. But with the power of Snake Gaze. And Gary, okay, Gary, I'm able to uh, combat him well with the uh, discard, and it's able to stop link attacks. Do not mind the noise in the background. So yeah, that is the weapon. I'm playing three copies of this. This card is pay one gauge and put the top two cards into the soul. At the end of the turn, this card is rested. I basically get rid of a soul. If not, then this card's destroyed. Simple as that. And it's a 6-3, so it's able to clear boards. It's able to clear something off the board or deal 3 damage. So it's good either way. Then for my impact lineup, I'm playing three copies of Secret Sword Lethal Formation. So, yeah. And then I'm playing Shooting Star and Star Pressure. So the reason behind this lineup is if I have an extra Lethal Formation, they could be fire fuel for uh, Sheedon, which is really, really good because with Sheedon's ability, I'm able to get. Uh, draw consistently into this card with his draw powers, and I was actually drawing this card a lot in tournament. So yeah, so this is the lineup, very very good. Uh, destroy item, deal three damage. No if I spells, deal three damage. So that's the impacts. And now for the local support. Round one, I faced Dungeon World. I lost due to due to some stupidness of rock paper scissors. So, yeah, Rock Paper Scissors, the Rock Paper Scissors card, I forgot what it was called, Pen, Big uh, Surprise Box Pandora. So, stupidness of that made me lose the game. Um, so, yeah, I lost round one, so now I'm 0-1. Round two, I faced um, Thunder Knights, and game one, I managed to win through beatdown. And Yami Garasu burning for one, thank the Lord. And in game two, I basically went Star Crusher for game because he tried to Dragon Shield me when I attacked for three. He had six, and basically um, this for game. And yes, the sun went away. That's why it just got darker. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys don't mind that. Oh, uh, yeah, let's move over here where there's more light. We all love the light. <laughs> Uh, round three, I faced Jake, and he was actually using his new Skull Warrior deck that he got from Joey. So now Jake uses Skull Warriors. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert. Sorry, people. Gotta say, because it's my round three matchup. So, yeah. Uh, game three, I think. No, I 2 0 him to, as well, because game two, uh, he could have, he made him one big mistake and did not link attack me. So, with that, I was able to order body replace on one of his cards and survive at one crit. And I t basically, uh, I had, he had like two life left and I had to, uh, draw a monster with two or three crit. I top decked into this and I had the one gauge. So I paid the one gauge, play this. And he said it was game because he said he ain't had no nullifier. So I managed to win against Jake. So that was round three. So now I'm two, one top four. I faced Joey and he was playing dragon control. And uh, basically he told me cause he, Abused the crap out of drum too much. He abused the crap out of drum. That's all I have to say. Um, I couldn't get over drum. Soul Guard. And, and we didn't side. So if we did side, I would have started at half. Ninja Arts half kill. And I probably would have took took it. So, yeah. That is the uh, local support right there. Went 2-1 in Swiss. Came in top four. Got, uh, got crushed at top four. Thanks to drum being abused as hell. And, yeah. So, this is the updated Ninja deck profile, and that was from Team Burning Infinity going out. Later, YouTube.